More than 800 people with one mission, promoting a healthy environment. We are the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection. The National Association of Abandoned Mine Land Programs held its annual conference recently at the Glade Springs Resort in Raleigh County. The association is a forum for state programs to address current issues, discuss common problems, and share new techniques regarding the reclamation of abandoned mine lands. Congressman Nick Rahal, who helped craft the legislation that eventually became the Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act of 1977, gave the keynote address at the awards banquet. I know that uh, all of you, each and every day, help reclaim our lands and reclaim our heritage. And I just cannot thank you enough for the dedication you have each and every day to serving as stewards of our land, our rich land in this great country. West Virginia's AML program was honored for its work on the Three Fork Creek project in Taylor and Preston counties. The project installed four limestone dosers in the watershed. We first told you about the amazing success of the project last year. Here's the DEP's Mike Huff with a second look. The water is clear now, but it wasn't that long ago that this stream in Preston and Taylor counties ran orange, fouled by acid mine drainage. The watershed was heavily mined in the 100 years prior to environmental regulations that went into effect in the 70s. An untreated drainage from all those old abandoned mines, heavily acidic and high in metals, poisoned Three Fork, leaving it essentially lifeless since the 1950s. It's a problem common to north central West Virginia watersheds, and treating it required taking a different approach. When, when you have conditions with low pH and high metals, you, you can't effectively use passive treatment. To use passive treatment effectively, you have to have a neutral pH and high metals, or if you have a low pH, uh, you can't have any metals. What ends up happening, the metals precipitate out and they cover your uh, alkalinity or alkaline producing material. So the passive treatment systems that we, we've built in the past rarely met the expectations that were predicted. So instead of continuing to build passive treatment systems knowing that they wouldn't be as effective as we wanted, we needed to come up with a new method of attacking acid mine drainage. And the method we chose was in-stream dosing. This is a lime dosing station, one of four installed along the tributaries that form Three Fork Creek by the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection's Office of Abandoned Mine Lands. A measured amount of lime is added creating an alkaline solution. When added to the stream, it neutralizes the acid, raising the pH to a level that will support a broad range of aquatic life. And as for the effectiveness... I'm amazed. This is a large stone fly. It's the largest stone fly that we have in, in West Virginia. Generally, it occupies the small headwater streams. It's, it's real important in the progression of the food chain as you move down the stream, but it's, it's a sensitive organism. It requires a lot of dissolved oxygen. And as the aquatic insects return, so do the fish. Does it surprise you in that short a time that, that, that there's been this big of a difference? Absolutely, but I, I'm amazed and it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, people haven't seen fish in here for a long time and so it's pretty crazy. Um, a lot near the mouth have migrated in from the river mm -hmm. and some of the bigger fish, the bass and, and sauger have migrated up pretty far. Uh, a lot of the little stuff I was kind of expecting maybe we would see some of that, but, but we've had some pretty good sized fish. That's quite a change from 2009, the last time the DEP surveyed Three Fork Creek, and two years before lime dosing stations were put online. Now basically the last time, uh, this I guess it was in 2009, we didn't find uh, anything. anything. Uh, we shocked this for fish and found no fish whatsoever and we found only the most tolerant uh, benthic mac macroinvertebrates, uh, the bugs, and now we're seeing stoneflies, we're seeing some helgramites. Uh, haven't seen a crayfish yet. I'm expecting to see one of those maybe in a couple of years, which would definitely be a benefit. Uh, but uh, things are looking better. It's been an amazing turnaround, actually. Um, and it's, it's been better than I even thought it would be. During a stream survey last year, biologists documented more than 1,600 fish, including 21 different species, at the same four test sites as the 2009 survey. 
a dramatic change, to say the least. Are you surprised about the how, how big of a change it's been? Oh yes, in a short period of time, about 14 months, we went to practically a zero in fish and and uh, other wildlife to uh, uh, amazing recovery here on Three Forks Creek. We are very elated with the with the cooperation we've had with the DEP in cooperation with them and uh, our watershed association. We have formed a great partnership here and it's resulted in this great uh, recovery. But treating acid mine drainage in a stream is much like treating a chronic disease in the human body. While there is no cure for the underlying cause, there are different treatment options to control it. Some more effective than others, some more expensive than others, and at Three Forks, that recovery was not cheap. The project is funded through the West Virginia Acid Mine Drainage Set-Aside Account. The four dosers cost just over $750,000 to construct, but the Operation and Maintenance, or O&M, averages over $18,000 a month, currently an unsustainable rate. So what we're doing, we're holding off on installing any new dosers until we can get the set-aside account into a financial situation where the interest actually covers the O&M and once we're able to cover the O&M with the interest earned and not use the principal to pay for the uh, operation and maintenance, then we're going to commit to new dosers down the line. But right now we're holding off. Program managers and watershed groups alike are hopeful that the success of the Three Forks project can one day be duplicated in other impaired streams across the state. In Preston County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. This is the second time in the last three years that West Virginia has been honored with an Appalachian Regional Award. In 2011, the DEP's Kempton Refuse Project earned top honors in the Appalachian region. Before treatment, the 26-acre site in Tucker County was leaking hundreds of gallons of acid mine drainage every minute, making it one of the worst sites in the Potomac River watershed. The project took two years and more than $2.3 million to complete. But now, nearly four years after its completion, water flowing from the site has been neutralized. The project also earned an award for its reforestation, and today the Kempton Project remains one of the best abandoned mine reclamation projects in the entire Potomac Basin. Toyota Motor Manufacturing of West Virginia was recognized this month by the National Pollution Prevention Roundtable for its innovation in sustainability and preventing pollution. Toyota earned a 2013 Most Valuable Pollution Prevention Award for developing a method of capturing and recycling coolant from metal chips created during the machining process. The process diverts more than 90,000 gallons of coolant from a wastewater treatment facility each year. The program saves Toyota around $135,000 a year and actually paid for itself in the first five months it was in use. The plant also earned an honorable mention for its energy efficient lighting. Coming up, breathing new life into a former boom town. We're back in a moment.